Great. That should keep the walkers out. Come on! We need new ones to get this working. Stay calm. Steady. Steady. Stay calm. Steady. Steady. The game's set in Washington, so I got into the world of The Walking Dead by reading those, like Robert Kirkman's, you know, world is so rich and, you know, full of um, character and texture and so, and it's very gritty and it's all about the relationships between people. So I sort of tried to immerse myself in that, the imagination of the world that I'm in. So then it's easier to, you know, step into someone who's different from you because you, you know, understand where they're coming from. Yeah, I think, you know, with any leader qualities, it's just to be grounded in yourself and be very secure and decisive of what you want to know. And, and I think I bring that to the character, just understanding that, hey, this is what we need to do. This is the plan at hand, and this is how we're going to infiltrate to making sure that we reach the goal that we're all setting out to do, so. So it's interesting because I think that she has a moral compass, and yet she's trying to find her way in this, this, new, uh, this new world. Um, where, you know, nobody plays by the same rules. Here and there, we need to tap into some, some kind of like anger beneath the surface or perhaps a little bit of, you know, resentment for certain things that have, that have happened, but still trying to kind of keep a positive vibe and, you know, we can get through this, you know. She's like kind of stoic. She's not as emotional. It's more of like a, more of a figuring things out brain. She's not like a complete no emotion at all, but she tends to be a little drier and um, not freak out as much. What I love about her is that she has strength both physically and mentally. She has a military background. Um, prior to the outbreak, she had uh, she was involved as a White House staffer, she was in the National Guard, she became an expertise on firearms, so she's really sharp 